hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I will show you how to create dark mode Google Maps on Elementor okay so first thing you might ask why dark mode Google Maps well if your theme or page design is dark and if you put a default whitish looking Google Maps inside that of course your website design won't look good or synchronized so sometimes using this kind of dark mode google map design will make your web page design super cool and synchronized now i will show you how you can do that very easily so here you can see i have already created this dark mode google map but first i wanna delete this one so i can show you from scratch so let's now just delete this section and now in between this section and this section i want to take a new section so i'm just clicking here on this plus icon now let's click on this plus icon and i want to take a single column section this one so first thing from the left i want to make the content width to full width and stretch section i want to turn it on and now inside this section i want to put the google map element so let's now click on this rubik's cube icon and here i'm searching for map here it is google maps i'm just dragging it inside this section here so now have a look this is the default whitish looking google map and our page is kind of dark design and you can see here inside this dark looking page this whitish looking google map looks super weird and that's why i wanna make this google map something dark looking okay first let's i wanna give it a height so i wanna give it a height of 450 like this now let's go under advanced tab and this time i want to do some custom css so here you can see custom css just expand it and you know custom css option is only available on elementor pro and in case if you don't have elementor pro i will put the elementor pro purchase link in the description you can get elementor pro from that link all right now i will be writing here some css code just follow along so the rough idea is i wanna take a before selector so an overlay area will be placed over this google map and then i wanna add some overlay effect over it so for that i'm taking here the selector that's selector before and then inside the curly bracket i will be writing the properties here so first content i want to make the value to empty and then i want to make the position to absolute now let's make the width to 100 percent and of course the height i want to take 100 percent now i want to take the background color i want to make it white you can just type white or you can put the hex code that hash f f f f f f so right now you cannot see anything here because we have put the selector before and we made the height and width to 100 percent so it's above the google map and we have made the background color to white so we can only now see the white color so here i want to add some blend mode effect so i'm typing here mix blend mode you can put here exclusion or difference I want to give the value to difference here you go but here we have got a problem like if you want to drag the google map or if you want to try to zoom in or zoom out on hover we cannot do that so to make it happen i want to add here another css property that's pointer events and i want to set it to none now we can drag the google map inside here we can zoom it or we can make it zoom out like this cool super cool so basically that's it and if you don't want to write this css code by yourself you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description so from that page you will find the css code so if you want you can just copy and paste this css code inside your elementor custom css field all right also to make it more synchronized with your page design you can add some border color around this google map 
so i wanna add a border color around this google map i wanna use this color this button color so to do that let's just select the section again i'm clicking on the six dots now go under the style tab here background type let's select the classic one and color i wanna select the button color this color so that's hash six six e5 ff cool actually it's super cool let's now click on this update button to save our work and if we now minimize the elementor page builder option from the left now have a look on this page from the top just to show you how synchronized it's looking right now so if we now scroll down you can see it's a dark looking page and some bluish color over there on the texts and if we now scroll down here we have got our google map and it's totally looking synchronized with our other page components it looks really super cool now thank you so much for watching this quick and short tutorial if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and press on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you need any kind of help on your website or if you want to build a complete website from scratch then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will see you on the next video for now bye bye